I remember all your beauties in the morning when the birds were singing and the wind was dancing with your hair. I could feel your breath caressing my face and your heart was beating so fast. And suddenly, all became silent. Time stopped. And I was alone in the middle of nowhere. I was totally aware of what was happening. I sunk into your dream, and we became one. And there is no dream anymore. All that was left was pure truth. I forgot everything afterwards. Как дела? Как дела? Приятно с вами познакомиться. Приятно с вами познакомиться. У вас есть другая семья? У вас есть другая семья. Вы все еще живете в Златоусте? Вы сочи сочи живете в Златоусте? No, it's вы. Вы все еще еще еще. Живете. Живете. В Златоусте. В Златоусте. Кем вы работаете? Кем вы работаете? Вы интересуетесь искусством? Вы интересуетесь искусством. What does that mean again? It means, are you interested in art? How many times did you write that letter? Can't remember, didn't count. Did you find any new contact information or address? Nothing yet. Heck, I don't even know if she's alive. If she is, I wonder what she's doing. He's in love with you. You learn a lot today. We'll practice the rest tomorrow. You should see if Devin has found any new documents. Yeah, we'll do. See ya. See ya. Stop leaving, and you will arrive. Stop searching, and you will see. Stop running away, and you will be found. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's all? I mean, yeah, there was like 
two more drawers full of documents, but I didn't have the time and he came in early today. Please, Kevin, find the rest. I'll do what I can. So, uh, how many words did you learn today? A few more. I guess I should be able to speak to him. <laughs> did you get the contact number? No, nothing yet. Still searching. I, I don't want him to see me here. I have to go. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, go, go. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, call you later. Did you check to see if you have any more documents? I've given you all the ones I have. The rest of them have been placed in a box somewhere. Give Theo a call. He got some copies of the documents, so you can get them a lot sooner. Mom. Yes, sweetie? It must have taken a lot of love and sacrifice for you and Dad to do all that you've done for me. For your dad and me, it's only about love. It's beyond numbers and words. Do you think she'd ever want to meet me? You're thinking about that again, aren't you? I'm just curious. It's a difficult question. I've never been in her shoes. It's a Russian newspaper, but there is nothing about you here. Let me look at the rest. That's her signature and her handwriting. She wasn't illiterate. Really? Any contact information, phone number, address? Nothing. Hmm. What's written there? In the court session, it was established that the child's mother relinquished her parental right to her at the maternity hospital and gave her permission to be adopted. Tamara Dirabin's father was unknown. According to A.G. Karetsky, the representative and head doctor of the Domridonka orphanage, the child was in need of medical treatment and an operation as well as extended post-operative care. She could not have received these things at the orphanage. During the time that the child was at the orphanage, no one took any interest in her, including her mother and other relatives.
I, Tamar Sagriavna Dariabina, was born on the 4th of April, 1996, in Zlatoust, Russia, with a foot deformity most likely caused by nuclear radiation. My biological mother, Oksana Petrovna Dariabina, left me in the orphanage when I was only 15 days old. She was 25. It's like an echo. The dream that I had kept coming back. The footsteps kept getting farther and farther. And I was lost in the crowd. Hoping you would come back to find me. I wish I had a picture of you in my mind. Oksana Petrovna. I wish you knew if I had ever been in love. Your ticket's in the post box. Don't forget to take it. You should go. You'll find all the answers there. See you at the airport. With love. Thank you.